Hi guys, so for the last week I've been searching for the perfect and free AI art generator tool which is going to create coloring pages for me. And it turned out to be much harder task than I thought because of course you can buy Midjourney, you can buy Leonardo AI, uh, any sort of paid tool to generate this AI graphics and will probably work great for you. But when it comes to free options you are very very limited and I couldn't find a single YouTube tutorial that would tell you step by step how to generate great coloring books because all of the videos I have watched were just terrible like the designs and graphics from these tools um, these people were showing were absolutely terrible I would never sell such coloring pages to any of my customers and what you're seeing on the screen right now are different coloring books for Amazon KDP if you watch my videos like regularly um, I always talk about Amazon KDP and how great of a program it is I believe that that right now KDP has even more potential than Amazon Merge. So like creating coloring pages, but not only coloring pages, but also like um, activity books for kids, any sort of like um, reading books for kids and also adults. Uh, this is a great time to do it. Could be such an incredible alternative for non-stop creating these t-shirt designs uh, for Redbubble and Tpublic and Amazon Merch. So after using like probably 30 or even more AI free generators, I found a perfect solution for creating coloring books. And this was actually the website that a friend of mine recommended to me. This website is called TensorArt. It's a bit different than from usual AI generators. So here you actually have a many, many models uh, which were created by people based on those like basic models. So for example, Stable Diffusion XL. So it's a bit more complex, but also it gives you much more possibilities to create great coloring pages, which I'm going to show you right now. So um, after like registering you can just log in using your Google account and you can just click on create um, before we're gonna do that I'm just gonna very shortly tell you what is the difference between like a um, free version account and a paid so the pro one uh, if you're gonna click here on the pro in the upper right corner you can see that simply um, on the started account you have like hundred credits per day so this is really really a lot it will enable you to generate like, like maybe 85 to 90 um, different coloring illustrations per day you have some limitations when it comes to uh, tasks a maximum a batch per run so like the number of images you are creating per entering one prompt also the pro version keeps images for 60 days and the standard one only for 14 days so you need to be careful to always download your images after creating them still like 90 day pro plan is for less than 15 bucks so probably you won't find that cheap ai art generator out there on the market but i won't encourage you to purchase anything i don't have any like existing deal with this website even me myself i don't use the pro version the standard one is absolutely fine with me okay guys so after logging in you can just click on create in the upper right corner so i'm gonna do that and here we are in the text to image generator tool so you can get a bit confused while you are looking at it for the first time uh, but i'm gonna try to explain you as simple as possible so uh, i'm gonna delete my laura and let's start from the beginning so here you can choose the models so you have like many different AI models which you can base your graphic on, you have stable diffusion. If you just generally don't know, if you're for example generating some graphics on your mid journey through a Discord, uh, they also use some kind of model they've created. So they also have like AI mid journey model. So every AI graphic is based on some model uh, created by someone. When you click here on these models, you can choose to uh, use any one of these. You have a lot of them. But the one I especially recommend for creating coring pages is just this DALI based model. You can go to SDXL, which stands for Stable Diffusion XL version. And you can um, just enter DALI. So here you have the Open DALI version 1.1. And this model turned out to be the best for me. So you can select that. And then you can also add LoRa. As you can read on the website, LoRa are like one-time modifiers for AI models. Each LoRa is highly specialized in one style or character. So LoRa is something that will like guide our model so our image will have a specific features we want. In this case, these are coloring page features. And here uh, you can just click on add LoRa 
and type in the search bar coloring. And after typing coloring, you can see two models and the one I am using is the coloring book dot Redmond. Make sure you have the version to select and because there are two versions uh, to choose from. So we're gonna click on select and after adding our LoRa, we will minimize its effect to like 0.5. Generally, as you probably already figured it out, the slider here stands for the power of our LoRa while generating the image. If I'm gonna like, for example, drag it to 1.8, uh, this LoRa will have much more effect on this model. In the other case, if I'm gonna drag it to the left, it will have much less effect on our Open Dali basic model. But the sweet spot I found is just 0.5 and it works really great. The next thing you gotta do is to enter a prompt, obviously. And here is the example of a prompt that works really great. We're starting with detailed and then the name of the object. Then coloring page illustration, only black and white colors without shadows and gray, white background, thin lines, outline vector style graphic, coloring book, coloring book AF, and here are the things that shouldn't be here, they are just uh, being added automatically after adding some LoRa to our model. So we can actually delete these things because they are already in our prompt. Negative prompt, these are the things you don't want to see in your image. Here I just entered shadows and gray. You can find probably like a already prepared negative prompts for such model on the internet. I don't know, uh, these two words were great for me, um, I'm not playing on changing them. Next you have these different aspect ratios. It really depends on you which one you need. If you're creating like a coring book for Amazon, you probably want to have something in the ratio 8.5 by 11, uh, but in any other cases just change it here. Here we have the sampling method. I chose the Euler A. Like to be honest with you, I haven't tested any other samplers because Euler A just works great for me. I just changed the sampling steps and CFG scale. So basically here, the sampling steps are something which will affect the details of your image, but it will also affect the time of generation. Uh, the 30 works great for me. By default, it's probably at 20 or something like that. If you don't know, this AI images are like generating from a total blur image and then the images are like overlaying on each other. It's really hard to explain for me. And this is like the number of times these images will change and like overlay on each other. So 30 was great for me. CFG scale, um, this controls how closely the generated image adheres to your prompt. A higher value results in images that closely match the description of your prompt. So also here you wanna find some kind of a sweet spot. Eight is great because you still want to um, leave some space for AI. You don't want to like one to one listen to your prompt. So eight is going to be great, but you can also experiment with these numbers. Maybe you will find even better settings than me. This next settings I haven't even touched. Uh, the last thing you can just do is to change the maximum batch per run. So it affects the number of images that are being generated after entering the prompt. While using the free version of the TensorArt, you can have the maximum of two, which is still okay. Uh, if you want to upgrade it to four, you need to purchase the pro plan. As you can see, you already have the examples of anime boy images. So I think I'm just gonna enter something different. Let's say, um, why not, maybe anime girl. Anime girl, so detailed anime girl coloring page illustration, only black and white colors without shadows and gray, white background, thin lines, outline vector style graphic coloring book, coloring book AF, which refers to the LoRa we have added. And we're gonna click on generate here. And after clicking on generate, you will see that these two images will start processing. The time of the generation differs a bit. It can be from anything like 15 seconds to maybe like half a minute maximum. So here we have it. Uh, these are the images that have been generated by this model and this LoRa. As you can see, they look just great. They don't have any gray or shadows. They're going to be really good for coloring. And if this prompts and all of the settings here will also work great for you. 
Just before we finish this video, I want to mention that you can use all of the generated images like commercially here in the terms of the website uh, in the point three, you have these uploaded models, generated images and published posts. You have the point um, three one, no claims on the ownership or copyright of models and AI generated images are made by TensorArt and all created content may be freely used by yourself. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this is the first video on YouTube that finally explain how you can generate great coring pages for free without purchasing any AI subscription. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy content of my channel, don't forget to leave a like and sub and I see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.